Okay, what we're doing right now is we're getting the um, board ready to do some organizers because my shop's pretty much a mess. So all I've done is I'm um, using my trash can to paint on. And uh, we're using just a, it's a primer gray. This is an old uh, picture I had here. I don't throw away most anything. So this is the old wood frame that went in the kids' room. But they've outgrown it. So I'm just painting the edges right now. And I believe I've already done the bottom edge on that one. So, you just take your spray can. This is pretty simple, basic stuff. And I did the back already. This is a fast drying paint. And I didn't have to paint it, but uh, I wanted to because it's, it's for t a tool organizer, or screw bins, and stuff like that. I'll keep uh, hinges, sandpapers, screws. So this is probably going to take two coats. You could leave it if you wanted to, but. I'm not into half-assing right now, so we're going to paint it. I'm just following the lines you can see in the light right where to spray each time so you get a nice smooth coat. So this stuff only takes about three to four minutes to dry. So we're going to set another piece of wood up as a workbench and we'll get started on uh, mounting our bins. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, there is a, a hanging on the back of this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use this as the top in case I ever want to just hang this on a wall. So what we have here is a, uh, a set of organizers. I got poly bins and rails down at uh, Harbor Freight and they're 4 by 3 by 5 inch boxes you have 5 rails for wall mounting and I don't have any room left on my walls so uh, when I got this the box had been ripped open so just a, a hint guys if you ever see an open box ask for a discount I got this for about half price let me get my uh, rails and we'll get started Okay, so we got a, a measuring stick. This I used for, uh, I tape put this on here when I was making some of the kids' benches. So all you're gonna do is figure out which way they go. You're gonna center it. And this one is just, uh, we're gonna start off on the top and work our way down. So we're gonna center this about where we want it. And we'll just draw a one inch line here. That way we kind of know where we're at. I think our paint's a little bit wet still. That looks pretty good. So we're just using a, uh, a screw gun. And I have a whole bunch of little screws I picked up from Harbor Freight. And I'm gonna go get a tool, I'll be right back. Okay, I got my uh, 
a little punch there. So we're going into plastic, so you don't want to just go too hard on it. So I'm going to put one on each end, and this is all the tool looks like. It's a pointed uh, hardened steel on a little handle. This helps you pre-start your drilling holes. go back later and, and hand tighten them a little bit if you want to. So I have five of these to do. We'll get started on that and I'll, I'll come back to you guys. Okay we got our bottom one set up and you should measure these uh, to make sure that everything's set up equally. It's pretty easy to eye it left and right but uh, you want everything started to get in line together. And I marked it so we're okay if it moves. Okay so we have five of these total so what you want to do is is get pretty much a center mark let me see from there to there is 26 that's 16 inches so we know that the center is going to be 8 and I lost my marking pen that's okay so we're going to go 8 inches that'll get a center actually 8 and a quarter Check. Eighteen. Quarter. Glad I measured that twice because I had it uh, mismarked. Set up our next one. And then all you're going to do is split the difference on the uh, last one. And I'm going to go right on the hole on this one. And we'll set up our other two, one here and one there. Okay, we got the uh, all five of these on here. And I didn't use all the screw holes. One, two, three, four. I centered them evenly. If I add a lot of stuff with the weight in the center, I might add one more row of screws, but I don't I don't think it's necessary right now. So last thing to do is just uh, start putting some bins on here. And they should be spaced equally. Now they could have stacked right on top of each other. Uh, I could have lowered that enough. But I want to be able to take my bins out, so um, that's why I did the spacing. Is because if I'm doing a project in the shop, I may want to just grab the whole bin, take it over, set it on the ground or on the other workbench, and uh, and then be able to put it back. So I've bought a lot of screws. Um, from Harbor Freight, from Walmart, stuff like that. I have a lot of different wood screws, boxes, bins, and I'm always having to go find them. I can tell right now I probably want to add the center screws. We'll tell in a minute. That cord. I don't know if I ever put a video out on my electrical system I did 
I uh, added three different circuit breakers to my panel outside and then I, I hung all my electrical from the ceiling with light switches to shut each one off. Three, and I'll have to find the other one in a few minutes. Where'd it go? Oh well, I'll find it in a few minutes. Seems like you always set something down in the shop, you can never find it. Anyway, that's my project we did today. So now uh, you can dump all your screws in each bin, and I'm going to label each bin for what they are. Phillips uh, one inch wood screws, uh, nuts, bolts. And right up here, this is what I did. This is actually running across the ceiling. I have three lines of heavy duty, heavy duty Romex. And then I have two outlets on this side, two outlets on the other side of my post, and then a light switch that controls everything. So uh, I was originally gonna have those standing upright from the ground up but uh, I reversed it and hung them from the ceiling so now I have to move my switches so they're a little lower but this way you can shut down your whole shop and everything's uh, shut down you don't have to worry about your kids coming out here and getting hurt hey guess what there we go I found it so there you go guys that's the bins I got from Harbor Freight I used uh, repurposed wood in the back and I just mounted it right onto my workbench and my workbench I don't even want to show you because I've been doing so many projects it's just a big pile of, uh, of stuff right now but you want to grab this one you just grab it out then you can put it back if you guys want to check out my other stuff it's uh, AmericanPicker.org www.AmericanPicker Dot org. I have a website there with a lot of tools that I restore, uh, a lot of different information about uh, tools, antiques, and there's a great search engine in there where you, if you need a uh, owner's manual for any tools, type in the model number and the brand and it'll give you the owner manual. So it's really a neat little uh, tool I have on my website. Until next time, thanks for watching. Okay, one last thing I did real quick, because <clears throat> since I'm, I'm wasting this much space <clears throat> in the shop with the backboard, um, I went on ahead and added another board. Uh, I got this stuff. It's really good, good wood. It's uh, probably flooring or countertop. I got that at uh, one of the thrift stores here in town. Then I added a piece of pegboard on that side, so I made the, the wall much bigger. I still got my single support for this then I added a support on this side and I put a backboard on here so now I can hang all my tools off here I'm actually have one more of these I'm gonna put in the lower half and I put a, a straight board here for support and then the other side was already supported so now I can have my tools hanging here so I'll put my, my screwdrivers and uh, Phillips and my uh, crescent wrenches on on here for quick use along with my uh, my bins now so we're all set up then I got my my grinder on this side so on this lower half I'm probably gonna put a a very narrow shelf and my grinding heads will go on here because um, I have two grinders set up here I have a total of four grinders in the shop um, I just got picked up another scroll saw too, so I don't know where I'm going to mount this one yet. Got this for ten dollars at a yard sale here in town. It's a Craftsman, and I tried it out. It works great. And I picked up a, a secondary drill press also. So uh, now I got three drill presses in here. You'd be surprised though. You end up using them um, with all the stuff I do. So anyway. That was my project for today. Now I gotta clean up my workbench and get all this organized. Thanks for watching.